Hi everyone, I'm Kaishan and today I'm reflecting on my research paper on the topic gap year. The topic I choose mainly involves why Western parents discourages the child from taking a gap year after high school and the problems they, they face in thinking so. Other than that, I've also provided solutions for them so that they could communicate with their own child in deciding where, whether the child should take a gap year or not. So why did I choose this topic? It's mainly because when I saw the titles, I found that I've did a similar topic a few years before. So I thought I could do better if I if I worked on the same topic, but it actually didn't turn out as what I've expected. Because my last research was on parents in Asia. Like it was mainly it mainly includes how parents think about gap year in the Asia instead of the Western countries. So it didn't quite help in my research paper for this topic, yeah. Uh, so for students like us, in order for us to produce a successful research paper, we are supposed to look into information and check the reliability, and then we include those data that we've collected into the paper, so as to support our points. But for my part, I actually didn't work quite well on this part, because for Western countries, the, the information available online is quite... The information available online is not quite as what I've expected. And the sources they come from are not from reliable sources. So I don't really... I find it really hard to involve those information in my research paper. Uh, but then... It, it actually worked out well since I've included some, but not as much as I'd hope as I'd hope in my research paper. In the process of in working for the research paper, the one and most important thing that I've learned is that the method of citing the source of information is very important so that we don't uh, get involved in plagiarism, which actually helped in all of my other subjects, such as my biology and my chemistry reports, we will need to use information from other sources to support our theories use. The method of citing helped me to cite the information according to the correct method. Speaking from personal experience, before I've actually started working on this research paper, I used to look into information according to the categories they're in instead of how reliable they are. Well, after I've worked on this research paper, I understand that the reliability of a source is very important when we write research papers or projects or our reports. So in a way, the research paper has changed my mindset that I would look into information according to their sources and how reliable they are instead of how I could understand the information given without even paying attention to if it, if it is from a reliable source. Even though, even though this research paper was limited by my, my source of information, I was glad that it worked out, worked out well in the end. I could produce a decent piece of paper. As for myself, I understand that I tend to procrastinate when I'm given a very task. I myself tend to procrastinate when I'm given a task with a long period of time to complete. Where for this research paper, I didn't pay much attention during the start of it and was forced to work out everything in a few period, in a few days towards the deadline. This actually leads to my results, not my results, my paper being a bit messy and it has like information from everywhere with the citations a bit <laughs> a bit unrelated to what I've typed into the reference list. So I do hope in the future I could oh not I could <laughs> could start working on something very very much in the earlier state so I won't need to rush myself towards the end of something on end of the project. Thank you for your time. Bye.